first time we'll actually have an index of zero second time we'll have an index of one and then third one index of two and then the fourth one will have an index of of three so we don't want to actually be having zero indexes in our markup so basically we're going to append add one to any time we're looping so instead of just index we're actually going to say set the text of each element to index because we want the first one to be one so we're going to say index plus one all right so basically that will give us one for the first one and then two for the second one and that's what we want so now we're actually going to add event handlers to that link okay so we say new link dot on so anytime anyone clicks that we actually want to take the carousel to the right um slide the carousel the correct amount so we we'll say anytime anyone clicks so we'll have to call a function anonymous function okay and as usual we we'll just close that and then now we write our anonymous function so the first thing we want to do actually is create variables that will store since we're going to actually need lots of variables in this one so the first variable will be index and that will be we're going to retrieve this um, text of that link that has been clicked so before we actually initialize that let's just um, declare another one so we say number of slides that will um that's what will determine that's where we're going to store how many um slides we need because if let's say we click uh we're on the first slide and we click the third slide so it means let me just show you what i mean let's say we're on this slide and we want to get to one two let's say this is the third slide so if we were on this slide and we click on the third slide so how many slides do we need to get to the third one from the first one is actually two so that's that that's what that variable will be used to store all right so get that all right so next we're actually going to get the current active link that is the link that is um, currently active so the reason we need that is we need that to be able to calculate number of slides so we need to get where we are at right now all right so we'll say the current active link equal to parent dot scroll buttons container dot find and if you remember the link that is currently active will have a class of active link we'll set that in a moment actually so next we're actually going to say index of active link give me the index so we say var index active link equal to parent that scroll buttons container a scroll buttons container is the big container that contains all those scroll button links okay make sure you understand that because it might be easy to get juggled up so we say find all L li link tags inside scroll buttons container and index and the index we want to get is the index of the current active link that's why we stored that here okay so this is the actual element that is active and this is where we're going to store the index of this currently active element okay so we say index and we pass it current active link and that's an object so jquery knows how to get the index of that okay so next we're going to say index of click link so since this is the current active link and this is the index of the link let's say okay i'll show you the finished one all right so something wrong not quite sure what happened there. <laughs> um okay so let's say we're on um the third element over here okay fourth one and this is the current active link so the link that we're going to click on next that is what the index of that link that we want to get so now that we've got the index of the active link we're going to get the index of click link so we say var index of click link equal to parent scroll buttons container dot find li dot index and if you realize the current context that we're in right now is actually the link the current link that we've clicked on so if we say new link dot on click so any link that we've clicked on actually will be having the context of this inside of this function over here so we don't need to store it in a variable over here okay 
that's why we're just using this short hand this over here okay so now that we've got the index of both the active link and actually the click link let's go ahead and actually start checking how many we need to slide so we're going to actually so we actually going to check whether we have to be whether we have to slide the carousel to the right or either to the left so basically how we do that is we're going to let me show you quickly 